stratospheric winds apart from the surface winds you have another set of winds called as the upper tropospheric winds so before we start upper tropospheric winds let's understand what are we reading we are reading atmospheric circulations in the atmospheric circulation we read two models in those two models one was the peril model one was the hadley model peril ne kya bola peril this is your equator at the equator you have wind that are arising the wind that are arising moves along the uh, tropopause the move the wind moves along the tropopause it cools as it reaches 30 degree the wind sinks the wind sinks okay the wind sinks and the wind sinks this he calls as the hadley cell okay then this is at 30 uh, degree at 30 degree then what he says the wind from the 30 degree and the wind from the poles they meet the wind from 30 degree and the wind from poles they come and meet and they are dynamically forced to rise and then you have the cell that is getting completed the wind from the polar and the wind from the tropic regions uh, they are meeting at 60 degree they are forced to rise they move along the tropopause they move along the tropopause and then they complete the cell so this is your peril cell peril cell and this is your polar cell in the polar cell that's what your peril model says what is peril saying peril is saying that if in the equator we have wind blowing like this okay at the upper troposphere we will have a opposite wind if at the 32 degree we have a wind blowing like this the upper we have the opposite one if at the pole we have a wind moving like this at the upper troposphere we have a different wind so as per ferrel upper tropospheric winds the upper tropospheric winds are what they are mirror opposite the they are mirror opposite ऐसे तो ऐसे ठीक है दे आर मिरर ऑपोजिट ऑफ द सरफेस कंडीशंस दे आर मिरर ऑपोजिट ऑफ द सरफेस कंडीशंस द विंड्स आर मिरर ऑपोजिट ऑफ द सरफेस कंडीशन दिस इज अपर ट्रोपोस्फेरिक एंड सरफेस कंडीशंस द अपर ट्रोपोस्फेरिक एंड द सरफेस कंडीशन एज पर फेरल but in reality what is happening but in a reality ye jo cells hain hadley cell peril cell polar cell hadley cell peril cell polar cell but in reality the cells are shallow they are shallow and do not extend up to tropopause they do not extend up to tropopause the cells are not extending up to tropopause inki height tropopause tak jati nahi hai ye jo cells hain bahut shallow hain aur upar jo system chal raha hai the upper tropospheric system is very different is very uh, different from the surface from the system at the uh, surface theek hai so what is happening at the upper troposphere what is ha happening at the upper troposphere if you remember at the upper troposphere what was the pressure here this is equator 30 60 90 30 60 90 what was the pressure here high a pressure what was the pressure here low pressure this is above the poles okay this is above the poles so how is the wind moving in the upper troposphere from the high pressure to low pressure this is called as the pressure gradient force pressure gradient force is letting the move wind from the equator towards the poles will there be friction at the upper troposphere friction nahi hoga upar बिकॉज फ्रिक्शन लेयर कब तक होती है फोर किलोमीटर तक फ्रिक्शन लेयर इज ओनली अपू फोर किलोमीटर द इफेक्ट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन इज अपू फोर किलोमीटर नाउ द विंड इज ब्लोइंग फ्रॉम हाई प्रेशर टू लो प्रेशर देर इज नो फ्रिक्शन वॉट विल हैपन टू दिन स्पीड स्पीड विल बिकम टू हाई 
the, the speed will become too high. Now the wind is governed by what two forces? The wind is governed by only two forces. That is your pressure gradient force. See, high pressure is okay? low pressure. The wind is moving from high pressure to low pressure. High pressure is where? At the equator. Low pressure is where? At the poles. Is it fine? We are talking about upper, right? Upper troposphere. Wind is moving from high pressure to low pressure. The wind is moving at a very high speed. As the wind is moving at a very high speed. Why? Because there is no friction. The wind is moving at a very high speed. What will happen? The Coriolis force will also be very strong. There will come a point where the Coriolis force completely balances the pressure gradient force. And the wind will move from parallel to the latitudes. The wind moves parallel to the latitudes. Isko hum bolte hai. So, upper, upper tropospheric winds jo hoti hai na, they are a parallel to latitude. Okay. So, itna samaj lete abhi ke le, that the, the cells are very shallow. The cells do not extend up to great height. The upper tropospheric conditions, the upper tropospheric conditions are very different from the from the conditions at the surface. This is what I'm saying. What does your uh, feral say? The feral says that the cell they extend up to the cell they extend up to entire troposphere. But in reality, I'm saying that the cells are very shallow. In reality, the cells are very shallow. Uh, there is a complete different system that is taking place here. There's a complete different system that is taking place here.